Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Parker here, and today we're going to be looking at the all-new Rockville Destroyer. This is Rockville's brand new sub that just came out, and it is 2,000 watts RMS, CEA rated. So yeah, this thing is going to be a monster. Let's get to it. The brain of a whole plane. Alright guys, so as I said, brand new Rockville Destroyer sub, so I really wanted to talk about why I bought this sub. Uh, the first reason is that Rockville was the sub that really got my YouTube channel started. I got a Rockville K9, it's got over 100,000 views on it now, and yeah, it was just crazy. Now this sub retails for $260, and stay tuned till the end of this video, because we're going to talk about other subs that you could get for around that same price, and see how this compares value-wise. Anyway, but yeah, this is... Um, 260 bucks, but for that, you get 2,000 watts RMS CEA rated, so that's pretty cool, and it just seems to be a really beefy sub. That brings me into my second reason, is just, is just that it seemed to be a pretty decent value sub for the money. Um, again, I'm sure there are better ones out there, and I know some people love Rockville, some people hate Rockville. And then my third reason is that this is a brand new sub, and at the time of me filming this video, no one else has got one of these, or filmed one of these videos. So it made sense for my channel to get one and pick it up. So, uh, yeah. Let's get into it. Let's start opening up this box. So, guys, we get a Rockville sticker. We have our warranty card, and it is a one-year warranty card. However, you are the buyer is responsible for sending the messed up item back to Rockville. Now I've had to do that once with their first K9 sub and that cost me like 30 or 35 bucks. So I bet on this one it'd be closer to 40 or 45. I will say when I did send my last one back, they were really good about saying, you know what, it was their fault and they did send me out a brand new V2 K9, so I can't complain too much. And then we have their sheet here to talk about how to wire it. And then we have all their specs. So this is 2000 watts CEA rated, so that's really pretty cool. So yeah, let's take a quick look at the specs here. We have ourselves a cast aluminum basket. We have a pretty stiff uh, non-pressed paper cone, paper dust cap. It does have a stitched around. The magnet weight, it states it's 18.75 pounds. We have a 3 inch 4 layer voice coil. That's a black aluminum voice coil. And they stated that they use really nice materials that should withstand a ton of heat. It says the weight of the sub itself is 49.61 pounds. And over here, they give the, recommend, the recommended volume for the box. And I have a vented box, and I'm about 3 cubic feet. So that should be just about perfect. Just a teeny bit outside of their ratings. But I'm sure it'll be just fine. And then the frequency response is 37 hertz to 1000 hertz. And then down here, we have some more specs. Now, the only thing I don't see on here is Xmax rating. Which was kind of odd, and I couldn't find one on their uh, website either. So, I don't know. I would like to see one of those to see how much excursion we're going to get, but... Alright guys, you can already tell just by looking in here, this thing is going to be a beast. So I'm really very excited and can't wait to see what it'll do. Now, let's see. Don't know how I'm going to get it out of here. It's in there pretty good. This thing weighs a lot, so... Goodness, guys. I don't know if you can see this. We're going to turn it for you. Oh my goodness. Guys, I can't even begin to explain how big this is. These terminals are huge. Right, let's see if we can get it out of the way. Guys, I don't know if you can tell, but this thing is absolutely massive. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Guys. Look at this. So this magnet is just... I don't know. This magnet is bigger than my head. 
Boy Squirrel looks pretty nice, but what I cannot get over is these terminals. Like, they're, they're bigger than my finger. And then we have our tinsel leads, and they're the flat ones, and there's two of them going to each coil. I like seeing the double tinsel leads. And it's nice and easy to get to the bolt if you ever need it to, for some reason, take these off, if you needed to recone it or something like that. And by the way, Rockville does sell recone kits for this. They are about a hundred bucks, which really isn't too bad for, you know, I would imagine to be a decent recone kit. And then we've got this massive surround. So that's pretty crazy. Um, pretty stiff dust cap. There's a ton of glue around this thing. Looks a little bit messy, but you know what? So long as it holds it on there, that's okay. And then big beefy surround. We have the double stitched, so that's cool. Now one thing I do notice, it's actually really not good, is that they didn't get this all the way out to the end here. And it's a little, there seems to be a teeny bit of a gap right there where some air could get through, so that's really not good. I'll have to put a little bit of glue on that before I test it out. Here's a little bit closer look up at it. Again, guys, you're not going to be able to tell on video, but these leads are just massive. Like, that's crazy. Take a look at that. Maybe you can see right there. See how it kind of tapers in a little bit? And that is right on the edge. So I probably got to put a little bit of glue on there. So yeah, of course we got the thick Rockville seal, which you could flip if you wanted to go inverted. <clears throat> Guys, you cannot tell on video how big this thing is, but it's freaking big. See if you can see in there the tinsel leads. All right, well, let's see if we can get this magnet cover off see what we're working with here well there it is guys massive triple stack magnet this is gonna look good cannot wait to get this in the car and test it out all right guys so just for a comparison this is my American base elite series sub really appreciate everybody that watched that now this here is a big sub it's a 1200 watts RMS and it, it's, it's just a beefy sub. Like, I was very impressed with it. It's, it's massive, and it handles an absolute ton of power. And it's got great specs. So we're just going to compare this to the new Rockville Destroyer sub. Yeah. A little bit different. I'm in shock, guys. Like, I thought this thing was a pretty big sub. But this new Rockville will put this American base straight to shame. Look, look at that magnet compared to this magnet. That is just incredible. Just to get a little closer look up, here's the American base. And here are those leads, which are great leads. But then take a look at these. Sorry, guys, it's getting kind of dark out. But I figured I'd just sat this over here just to see what it would look like inverted. We definitely might have to do this at some point. But guys, this is going to be sick. Cannot wait to upgrade the wiring and then the amp and really put this thing to work. But honestly, I just can't wait to hear this thing playing. So yeah. Alright, well, let's get on the, on the computer and see what other subs that we could get for right around 260 bucks. All right guys, so as I said, we're gonna take a look at some of the other subs you could get for around the same price. But first, let's take a quick look at Rockville's website. Here's the destroyer. I just wanted to kind of come down here. So they talk about their magnet is a 300 ounce Y35 magnet. And apparently Y35 is a better grade than what's in a lot of subs. Um, 
let me know in the comments if that is true or not. But yeah, they talk about their voice coil, and the voice coils are made in the USA. Don't know if that really makes a difference, but they show it. Okay, and now, and here we go. They do show their X-Max now. Apparently it is 30 millimeters. Uh, we have a mounting depth of 8.66 inches. So they mentioned that it is an 8 gauge chrome plated bind post terminals. Um, I bet I could fit like a really thick oversized 8 gauge terminal in that. Um, again, I'm just really impressed how huge those terminals are. Again, coming from something I've never had something that big, but those terminals are just really pretty dang big. I could fit kind of standard 8 gauge in the American base probably, so I definitely could fit really big oversized 8 gauge in this Rockville. And then they talk about that they use the highest grade black glue. So basically it can withstand really high temperatures. So hopefully that is the case. Wasn't the case on their Rockville K K9 V1, but they seem to have fixed it on the V2, so hopefully they got it right here. Okay, so let's look at what other subs that you can get for right around the same price. So the first thing we got here is the SCAR Audio. This is the VXF12, so it's a pretty dang big sub. Looks like we got the nice big terminals on it. Somewhat similar leads. But the tensile leads, it looks like there's only a single tensile lead going to each voice coil. Um, instead of there being two, you know, going, you know, two positive and two negative going to each voice coil. Pretty big magnet. So yeah, let's see if they got any specs down here. So this is 300 watts max and 150 watts RMS power. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if this could handle a little bit more. But I've noticed a lot of companies like to be pretty conservative, um, especially Sundown Audio. They like to be really conservative in their ratings just so, you know, people don't expect more or don't try to push something too hard and break it. But yeah, it's also got a 3-inch copper voice coil. It doesn't say how many layers. Um, its X-Max is only 25 millimeters as opposed to the 30. So yeah, um, as far as specs of themselves go, they don't seem to be quite on par with the Rockville Destroyer. But, you know, the build quality might be a little bit, a little bit better. The um, only thing I'm not really impressed with is the build quality. Just the way the surround wasn't really glued on there very good. They just kind of rushed through it, it looked like. All right, onward. Next, for 250, we have the EXM Audio 150-watt RMS sub. doesn't really have a name for it. It just says EXM 1500.12D2. But this looks like a pretty massive and comparable sub. Again, it's 150 watts RMS, 3000 watts max. It also claims to have a 300 ounce magnet. The X Max on it is 27 millimeters, so again, a little bit shy of the Rockville. And this is a triple stack, 300 ounce a Y35 magnet. So basically, the exact same that's on the Rockville. Triple layer spiders. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they have more info on their actual website. But yeah, there's a decently comparable sub. Um, would love to pick this one up and compare it at some point. Maybe if you get a lot of views on this next video. Next, we have DC Audio Level 3. I know a lot of people just love DC Audio. I would love to get my hands on one at some point. There's definitely a smaller sub as far as magnet and whatnot. By a lot. But again, it's DC Audio. It's a really quality sub. And it states it's 900 watts RMS and 1800 watts max. But once again, I think DC Audio underrates their stuff just so people aren't constantly blowing them up and wanting to get refunds and whatnot. And it's kind of a good thing to do as a brand. But it has a 3 inch voice coil. So the X Max is 23 millimeters. But again, with a sub like this, you're paying for quality and you're paying for the brand more than the actual specs. Next, we have the Massive Audio Hippo, right at 270. Another pretty beefy sub. 
they rate theirs at 4,000 watts peak and 2,000 watts RMS, and it is CEA compliant. So that's really cool. So this would be a very comfort comfortable sub. And this has a 320 ounce strontium magnet. So let me know in the comments if the Y35 or this material is a better type of magnet. I do not know. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of specs, but I'm sure on their website they would have more. Finally, we have the American Base HD. This here is another monster of a sub. Um, as you all know, I love American Base. And they rated at 3,000 watts max and 150 RMS. 320 ounce magnets, so a little bit bigger than the Rockville. 3 inch voice coil. 10 gauge power cable connector. They don't have a ton of uh, info here, but I'm sure on their website they have all the actual specs. Uh, this video is not really to compare every single little spec, more just to kind of show what else is out there. Um, you know, I think when you're spending this much amount of money on something, it's good to really take a look and make sure you're well versed on what's out there and you get kind of the right product. But yeah, I would love to get one of these other subs, um, the Scar Audio or this EXM, and compare them. They seem to be super comparable subs, and I think that would be really cool. Maybe if I get a thousand likes on this video, um, in this month, I'll pick up one of these other subs and do a direct comparison of them. But again, I gotta get a thousand likes. You know what? Let's do it. If I get a thousand likes on this video by the end of April, I will either pick up, I'll pick up one of these five subs. Probably, probably this Hippo, this EXM, or this Scar. Just because there aren't as many videos on them. Yeah, if you'd like to see that, let me know. Hit that like button, share so other people like it. But yeah, again, main reason I picked this sub up was because it's something brand new, there's no videos on it, so it made sense for my channel, and it's just an absolutely massive sub, and it looks pretty crazy, and I cannot wait to get it in the car and test it out, but we're going to need to be running some 8-gauge uh, wire to it and everything first. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video, we're going to be running 8-gauge wires, and then we might throw the sub in the box and start testing it out. So stay tuned for that, please like, comment, and subscribe, thank you all so much for watching. Y'all have an incredible rest of your day.